Hey, what's going on, everybody? Big Grime here with a quick Reactor 5 tip. Alright, basically, um, this tip is going to kind of give you an opportunity to, to find out. Um, sometimes, like, some people make instruments, and let's say a guy has a um, Pentium 4. And then the guy who makes uh, instrument has a um, quad core. So in his quad core computer, he probably can make an instrument that has a whole lot of features, um, you know, a, a bunch of oscillators, just, just different kinds of features that requires a lot of CPU. But then if someone with a Pentium 4 computer downloaded his instrument, um, the Pentium 4 probably would blow up because it's trying to do too much and they can't handle it so i've had that problem before and i've had it where if i try to hit the if i try to play the keys it would stutter it would freeze so this way um with this feature i'm going to show you you can actually go in and find out which part of the instrument is the cpu hog um maybe let's say if it was the filter you may say, well, you know what? I like everything else about the synthesizer, but the filter is is the CPU hog. So I like the, the filter that I made that I know is low on CPU. So you can actually delete that one and put your filter in there and be able to use a synthesizer. So, okay, basically, um, I usually just double click on the instrument. Double click inside. So here's the structure. Um, this synthesizer, by the way, is a very low on CPU. And I'm just using this as a demonstration. So, okay, basically, this is all the parts your filter, your oscillator, LFO, gate, median, etc. So, let's say I want to find out what's the CPU hog. I basically go to, I press Control U. Now, as you see, where the the name of the module it comes numbers of course the higher the number the higher the cpu hog so let's just say this is my cpu hog because it's 1.5 and by the way when you do the control u and you're checking for the cpu usage of the modules when you press the key you don't hear anything all you have to do is hit control u again it takes you back. So okay, let's say it's the oscillator. It says the oscillator is 1.5, and there all the rest of it's under uh, 1.0. So all I have to do is delete the oscillator and replace it. Let's just say I had one that said there's a lower CPU usage. And uh, now I replaced the oscillator. With the new one. So that's pretty much how you can track down the CPU hog and replace it with a module that doesn't require as much CPU. And just out of curiosity, how much CPU is that using? Actually, more. But, you know, that's just, like I said, just for demonstration purposes. But yeah, really, this is actually more than the other one. The one was 1 1.5, this is 1.7. But basically, you'll find one that's lower and you'll be able to use. Um, all the other features that the synthesizer has. Alright? Peace. Make sure you check me out myspace.com Big Grime and the number one. You don't have to spell it out. Just type number one. Alright? Peace.